Hi, my name is Michael Christner. I'm the principal here at Portage Middle School, and I'd like to welcome you here uh, to our school. A lot of people think that because we're so small, it winds up being a challenge, and it does present its own set of challenges, uh, but uh, the, the staff really embraces the fact that we're a, a, a small school, and uh, we've been able to create a family atmosphere with the staff, and they, they really value building relationships with the, with the students. What the kids really love about Portage is that it's a small school, so it's a really small community, and they have really close relationships with their teachers because they work so closely together. They do a lot of intercurriculum learning where um, they might have a unit that all of their core subject teachers work together with, so they have that special relationship with them. So uh, the challenges would be that, um, you know, say for a particular grade level, there's only one teacher per content area uh, for most instances. However, we use that to our advantage because then the teachers get to know all of the students. So. Uh, you know, it, it can be looked at as a burden that, the, say, the seventh grade language or social studies teacher has all of the seventh grade students. However, uh, it's a great way to get to know the students, know what they need, and it, it does actually simplify communication. Uh, and, and they're able to, uh, to plan things that might be difficult in a different situation. So we have teachers that have been trained specifically on teaching STEM within their classroom and doing those hands-on activities. Um, so our kids have opportunities to learn in a more real life type fashion instead of just reading things through a textbook. They have the opportunity to do hands-on. They have opportunities to use robots and 3D printers and do um, some experiments and things with the community, working with the community. Because the focus is on the culture and how we're doing instruction or how we're doing uh, making them an active part of their education, I, it really is, is beneficial for everybody. So there is a big push for college and career. There is a big push for uh, helping kids understand the, the, the STEM connection as that relates to their, their further education and has a, how it might relate to their career. And, and that's been a, a bonus for us, but I think that where we really see the, the benefit for all students is through that culture shift. It's really more about connecting real world learning to the standards and the curriculum that they're learning in class. So using um, what they're learning in class and how that will pertain to their community around them or things that they would actually use in the future. It's a lot of hands-on, it's a lot of using technology and 21st century skills. Having the opportunity to have the clubs after school is really important for um, community building within our school with both the adults and then within the kids. So it kind of gives them an opportunity to build relationships with students maybe that aren't in their circle that they typically might hang out with. And then it also gives the staff members a way to connect with the kids and build those relationships and get to know the things that the kids are really interested in. Uh, when you have a kid who is choosing to be there for something, uh, it, it just breaks down a lot of walls and, and it gives you kind of an immediate access and, and connection point. Given the situation that we're in right now where we have a limited number of students in the building and everything screams, you know, stay away, uh, we're keeping six feet of distance between each other, we've really had to look at how are we going to still make sure that we, we keep that close-knit relationship and, that, and, uh, and make sure that we are identifying student needs. And so we've, we've put some new protocols and, and, and processes in place. The teachers really work together to solve solve problems or um, come up with ways to work to do what's best for the kids. So that's a, 
I mean, that's kind of an exciting thing. thing. And we, we always talk about that with our teachers and with our kids that, you know, we're not really preparing kids for the world as it is. We're really trying to prepare them for a world that doesn't even exist yet and for jobs that don't exist yet.